Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we are here with my Museum Kudos Guide for Old School RuneScape and my Endless Adventure to make as many guides as possible. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Appreciate it greatly. Helps the channel a lot. But with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. So we'll start with the purposes of getting kudos, what that will allow you to do in-game. Once you get 100 kudos, you will be able to do the Bone Voyage quest and you'll have access to Fossil Island once you complete that quest. Once you have 150 kudos, you can do the Volcanic Mine minigame. And once you have 153 kudos, then you can access the dig site, which is a diary requirement. As far as the methods that exist to get kudos, we'll talk about those now. The first one is an ancient relic method that allows you to get five points. The second is by cleaning finds within the museum. This can net you 50 total. Then there is the natural history quiz, which will get you 28 points. Then by completing quests that will then enhance the museum's display pieces, you'll get 75 points. Then completing fossil displays with fossils you've gained from Fossil Island will net you 72 points. And those are all the ways that you can go about getting these. So we'll start with Ancient Relics since this is small and obtainable by free-to-play players. As long as you've done the quest beneath Ice Mountain, you'll have access to the Baronite Mines that is in the northwest of the city. And by mining the Baronite, you'll have a 1 in 350 chance of getting all these different ancient pieces. Each one of them individually is 1 in 350. So they're not all that rare. Once you've achieved all five of these Baronite pieces, then we can go and turn them in. To get to the Varrock Museum, it will be located in the northeastern side of Varrock, right on over here. The main curator in here on this bottom floor is right here in this nice black suit. If you have the Baronite pieces, you can talk to him and that will get you up to five museum kudos. So that's the first option, mostly something you want to do if you're going to be a completionist about this. If you're just looking for 150 kudos, probably not the best method to go about that. Then next we can clean finds within the museum. To do this, you'll need to have the dig site quest completed. So if you don't already have that unlocked, go ahead and do that. It's going to be necessary for the Bone Voyage quest along with other things that you're gonna wanna do within this museum. So definitely recommend that. To clean finds, essentially what you're gonna wanna do is go in the Varrock Museum and then enter this little gate down here. You'll then be let into the cleaning area once you go ahead and say yes. Then you'll know a couple different things down here. So there is dig site specimen rocks that you'll be cleaning via the specimen tables. And if you ever get anything cool, you can talk to these guys around here and they will tell you if you got something, what you got, and they can point you in the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and take tools over here, take a cleaning kit, and then go ahead and throw on the boots and gloves. And then what I do is I just spam click the specimen rocks and grab a full inventory. Then from there, go ahead and click on the table and then your character will get to work. You'll go one by one through the uncleaned finds, and from there you'll be able to find out whether or not you have something of value. As far as the items that we are looking for here, these are the five. So we have the ancient symbol, the old symbol, pottery, ancient coin, and an old coin. These all have a number next to it that corresponds with where they are located within the museum. So here are the locations listed right here, all in pretty much the same area. As far as the numbering, not that easy to understand if I'm being real with you, but just trust that is how it goes. In addition to that, while you are cleaning the finds, you can also find a clean necklace. This is going to be something you'll have to unlock at one point or another as well, as finding this will allow you then to make dig site pendants yourself. So if you find a clean necklace, go on and talk to the archaeologist over here and they'll discuss what it is. And then from there, you can make ruby necklaces and charge them and you can go ahead and make your own dig site pendants, which allows you to teleport around Fossil Island. So once you get a full inventory, go ahead and talk to the archaeologist nearby. Go ahead and say you found something interesting. Then they'll take a look. And if it's something of note, they will tell you to go ahead and put it to use up there in the museum. So the next method is the natural history quiz. To do that, let's go ahead and head downstairs. Go ahead and talk to Orlando Smith, go through any dialogue that you may have, and then from there, go on down to any part of this museum. You're going to have to go through all of them at the end of the day, so wherever you want to start does not matter too much. And then go up to them and study the plaque that is there. The quiz will be multiple choice, and the information is there on screen if you want to go ahead and read through what the display is about. You'll have to answer three different questions correctly. However, if you get one wrong, it doesn't matter. So you can just spam endlessly until you get three right, and that will work perfectly fine. Really just depends on what you want to do there. But once you've completed one, obviously then you're going to have to go through the rest. So make sure to go ahead and hit every display within one room before then entering another one and making your way around the entire museum. There are four sides to it, as you can tell right now. So make sure you hit all of them. 
Each of the displays allows you to get two points and there are 14 total, which makes for 28 kudos combined that you can get down here. Then next we have quest displays. You can talk to Historian Minus in the upstairs section of the Virak Museum. Up on screen are all the quests that will give you reward points. All of them give you five points, except for the very bottom one. That one will give you 10. And a couple additional things you'll need to know is if you do the Curse of the Empty Lord mini quest, you'll also need to obtain the ghostly robes. And if you've completed the What Lines Below quest, you're going to have to find the Dragon High History book. That can be found in the Varak Palace Library on the northeastern side. This picture's facing south, so just keep that in mind. So once you've completed those quests, you don't need to complete all of them. You can complete any amount you'd like to. Go ahead and head up the northeastern stairs within the museum, then talk to the historian minus right here. Go ahead and say, I have some information that might be of use for your displays, and then just hold the space bar and you will go right on through it all. But you would also be getting some decent XP lamps here and there, depending on what quest you have done. And this part is very simple. The questing was the hard part. This is just a nice, easy kudo reward. And then the final method that we will talk about for kudos is completing fossil displays. So to start, before you can complete fossil displays, you have to get fossils. The best way of getting fossils is from Fossil Island. Of course, that's where they exist. The best method is Sulacep trees. Cutting these down will be decent wood cutting XP per hour. And in addition to that can also yield you a lot of fossils. I'll be making a guide on that soon, so keep an eye out. In addition to that, you have Ammonite Crabs. That is a really, really AFK method of getting fossils, and it's gonna be helpful for your account because it will give you some decent melee XP. We also have Fossil Island Wyverns, which are a bit more intense way of going about it. However, it's going to yield more fossils than killing Ammonite Crabs. And then finally, there is Herbivore, which is a hunter method that also yields some of these not very efficient in terms of if you just want to get fossils but it's very efficient if you want to train your account but also get fossils on the side so to get points from fossil displays you're going to want to go down to the second floor below in the museum down here this will be sort of a part that they're still building out if you have any fossils, you're going to want to clean them up at the specimen tables that we were talking about prior for the dig finds. And then it will run through your fossils, discovering what pieces you have. As far as normal displays go, you'll need limbs, a spine, ribs, a pelvis, and a skull. And if it's a plant display, you'll need a stump, branch, leaf, and mushroom. Overall, there's 14 small displays, 12 medium, five plants, and five large, each netting you two kudos upon completion. There's also a storage spot in the bottom floor here where you can put any of these away to hide if you do not need them at the moment. I would just throw everything in here and then see what sets you have from there. As you can see, I have two full sets of small fossils and I have a full rare fossil set. So I'm gonna go over here to the east and there's a ton of small ones along the southern side in here. So I'll spam click this and then from there I will complete this museum display, granting me a nice little lamp that I'm gonna throw on prayer. There we go, 2K right there. Then I'll throw another one in right next to it. And just like that, there you go. So I filled out the small ones. The rares actually don't do anything at the moment. They serve no purpose. However, you'd imagine given that this is blocked off and nothing's down there, that one day this will be what they're used for. So I'd recommend keeping them. However, go ahead and fill out all of these small, large, and medium displays that are within here. And you'll yield all the points that we talked about before. And if you've done everything up until this point in the guide, you will have max kudos. So kudos to you for getting through this guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, if you did, make sure to leave a like. Would appreciate it a lot. If you want to see more videos like this as soon as you go live, make sure to subscribe. And of course, I have a clan chat, a discord, and many other places you can check myself and the community out down below in the description and would appreciate that greatly. But with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.